After defeat in the first battle and a siege that lasted more than six months, and with the presence of predatory animals in large numbers, entering the city of Kardesh became very difficult. The god Horus devises his tricks. The god Horus created ten million ants, a new type of ants, and called them Persian ants. He organized them into groups, and each group had a queen. The god Set knows nothing about this creation and cannot control it. With their organized and continuous attack, the Persian ants proved to be a formidable force in ending the Battle of Kardesh. Their sheer numbers and insatiable appetite allowed them to devour any living creature in their path, leaving nothing behind. Their organized groups, each with its own queen, ensured the coordination and effective execution of the battle plan. The prowess of the god Horus and King Thutmose's well-equipped army, combined with the relentless destructive power of the Persian ants, led to the successful capture of the city and the eventual defeat of the enemy. The god Horus opened the city gates and allowed the Egyptian army to enter the city. Here we find that the gods and their intervention, which increased the morale and determination of King Tuthmosis III and his army. The god Horus carried King Tuthmosis III to the palace. The ants surrounded the king of Kardesh, preventing him from moving, but at the same time they did not kill him. After the arrival of King Thutmose, the ants retreated and a great duel began between them, which ended with King Thutmose's victory. The end, follow us, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to follow the god of Egypt, Horus.